You guys, it's Dave with PeabodysParadise.com and it is Thursday and we are in the greenhouse again. So we are going to check out some of our new stuff. Me and Penny are hanging out. And Penny is a lot bigger now since you guys probably have seen her last. She, uh, we've had her, I think, our last greenhouse video with her in it. She was Hello. super tiny and it was about a month and a half ago. You're so, me? yes, really. Hey, Penny. You're pin, pin. Anyway, so what we got going in here is um, we got a bunch of new stuff, tons and tons of new things. We got some more Ludwigia Cuba over here, kind of going right, right along with what we already had growing. Tons of duckweed that I'm going to have to vacuum out later. I've, I've been kind of leaving it because the temperatures have been pretty hot and um, it helps deal with algae, like with the, um, with the sunlight and all that. I'm stuttering so much today. There's some hornwort in here. We got a bunch of hornwort. We got some new cabamba. I think this says Carolinaana. It's pretty cool. And then just moving right along. Got some more dwarf baby tears back there. All of our different. There's a new crib. This is crib Petchi. Pet Ti. Pet, pet, pet. I don't know. You get the idea. And then some of our radican swords are getting super big. I need to trim that actually. We just transferred them over into these pots over here. So they're uh, some of them took a little bit of damage, but they're still uh, the they're still overall super super good. So putting out a lot of them are putting out runners. We got babies coming out already, so we're doing really good. Dwarf hair grass, uh, red wentii, crypt, dwarf sedge, glosso. What else do we got in here? Uh, these are our new Crypt Wintii Brown plants, and they're a little bit smaller than the ones that we get from Florida Aquatic, but they're still um, still really healthy, and there's still a lot of Crypt in there. Though I'm sure they'll grow grow out and grow up a lot bigger. I'm trying to get one out of the pot, but it's not working out too well. But yeah, so you get the idea anyway. So that's that's a Crypt Wintii Brown. And, you know, there's a lot going on in those pots. So, that's that. Some Florida Sunset, which we're getting more of tomorrow. One of these guys has a flower out. This is that off of one of those radicans. So, it's getting its flower on, which is cool. Uh, this is Uruguayensis swords. It's a very narrow type swords that uh, stay relatively small. Back here we got more baby tears. Uh, these are actually sold. Jeff wanted some of these, so Jeff's getting all these guys. And then we've got some that are just kind of growing loose in circles like that, which is pretty cool too. We may start getting them like that more than the potted ones, because it seems like we get a little bit more um, per portion. And that's really what we're trying to do is just get you know the most plants for the least amount of money for people, so that they're really happy and satisfied with you know our portion sizing. So we may start doing them like that like this instead of pots these kind right here because they, they cost pretty much the same and it seems like you get more out of them so that's that this is uh lobelia cardinalis small form these are small cardinal plants and these are pretty cool um i, I like them and i think that they would make a really good mid or, or a foreground in a smaller tank uh, they stay small. They're on a long stem, but it's a very, it seems like this is a very low growing type plant. So, it's pretty cool. Let's see, our Java moss vines, which I think are all sold now. Uh, our Star Giant Repens, which is doing really good. Still growing really well. Looking good. And then, uh, oh, of course, our uh, tor Curly Tornado over here. It's finally doing something. Uh, it's been a few days, but if you look super close, I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there. On that one, if you look just to the very right of the stalk where it was cut, you can see it's growing a new um, a new stem. So that means that it's it's coming up and it's it's making its move. So, so that's awesome that it's happy and it's happy enough to continue growing. That one doesn't look like it has yet, or it may just be starting, but I don't, I don't actually see it yet. So... So that one's still in the works, and this one obviously is still coming up, and this one's actually getting really big. So check that guy out, that's a merged form of Curly Tornado, I guess that's where they get the 
the name from is that one. I mean, check that out. It's got a nice look at that. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a cool plant. So, so that's that. We got some really awesome stuff coming in next week, but it's a surprise, so I'm not telling you guys what it is yet. It's going to be awesome, though. Okay, where were we? Oh, um, we've got some more. Uh, this is actually was sent as Ludwigia ovalis, and I'm, I think it's narrow leaf. If anybody wants to talk about that, let's let's discuss because I think that that's narrow leaf, and I mean because ovalis just I mean even the immersed form of ovalis I'm pretty certain it has more of a you know more oval obviously oval shape. So yeah, if anybody wants to talk about that, let me know. We got more. Uh, we got these rosette swords, and these are like very kind of low growing swords that kind of lay flat versus what your normal swords do and these I just got these in and it's, it's a lot of times it's hard to tell what kind of humidity they were in before or if they were grown submerged or whatever so these guys are kind of like half in half out seems like some of the leaves are drying a little bit on them so they may have been submerged or just in like really high, high humidity so we're going to have to work with that and just kind of see what works best for them to get them transitioned uh, what else do we got this over here it's a pretty pretty plant the nice flowers on it this is actually rotala indica or it's actually rotala rotundifolia and i think the reason why it gets labeled as indica is because it's a immersed form if you look at it it has these round leaves on it and that's and that is very indicative of true rotala indica's submersed form so maybe that's why they label it this way but you know once you submerge it it goes to the normal rotala rotundifolia type foliage so so yeah, so that's that. I mean, it looks good, immersed. This would be really cool in like an immersed setup, like a bog type or, you know, a paludarium or whatever. Back here, we got some Bacopa. This is Bacopa linagera. I'm probably killing that one. But yeah, it's, this is, uh, it's called hairy Bacopa or uh, variegated Bacopa. And this one is, I mean, these are, it looks just like your regular Bacopas, but it's very big. I mean, this plant is huge. It's got these hairy stems on it. And then also, this is, I mean, look at the size of this. This is a lot bigger than regular Bacopa leaves. So, it's, it's different. We've not used it before. We've never kept this plant. So, not sure how it does submerge. So, we're going to have some that is submerged. And we're going to, you know, and then just obviously grow them above water too. Just to see how they work out for us. And then we can kind of give you guys more of an insight on what to expect from them. Our Sawtooth Hygro is still doing good. And this is giant high grow, still doing good. And as you can see, we've got more Nasea golden going on in here, and this is a bunch going on. So it's it's all looking good. It's come along pretty good. Uh, where else are we? we? Got our one little stem, our curly tornado stem, still kind of sitting here chilling out. It's finally poking up out of the water some. If you look down there, under it. What is that thing? That is Ranunculus inundatus, which is, um, I don't even know if it has a common name. It comes from Australia, and it's similar to Pennywort in how it uh, transitions, or how it grows. It kind of creeps along the substrate in higher light, and it's got a, this awesome leaf pattern to it. So this is a really, really cool plant, and we're just trying to propagate it. I've got it in a few different setups to see how it's going to do best. I actually got some of it over here. The penny doesn't eat it some over here as well right there so I've got some over here too and come on Penny okay 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 here come on there you go all right go find some vegetables okay um what else do we got in here? Yeah, the ranunculus is probably not going to be for sale anytime soon unless it really just explodes in growth and we can actually have some to sell. But we're definitely propagating and working on it. So it's coming. Just give it time. This is Golden Lloydelia right here, which has got a nice yellowish, light greenish lime color to it. Beautiful plant. We have not kept this one either, so we're going to see how this one does in and out of the water. And we'll let you know but so far you know above water growth looks okay the submerged looks okay but it's still only a few days out there is you know it's got nice roots on it already so that's a, a good positive good plus so back here i forgot to mention this stuff back here this is giant micro sword and this is this plant is just this is a pretty massive let's see if i can get one out yeah look at this guy so 
this is a giant micro sword and I think it you know it it would be a nice mid or even a background plant in some tanks it's pretty cool it's different it's unusual so Liliopsis Caroly Carolinensis giant micro sword and these guys are supposed to be hygrophilic compact they are not very compact at least not in this you know what I'm used to uh, apparently compact can grow six or so inches though so this is not that unusual for them but I mean as you can see you know it's labeled compact and it's got the same leaf structures and everything so this uh, so yeah if you order hygrophilic compact then this is probably what you're gonna get it's I would not try to use that as a ground cover unless you uh, have just a really super tall tank so uh, I think that's pretty much all we had going on today we got some crypt winti green in here somewhere too oh there it is yeah there's the green and these are these are pretty cool too these are brand new and to us anyway but I mean you know this is a pot of crypts I mean this is this is a pretty serious pot so this is the way to buy them you know they have less transition shock they and you get a lot more of them for the same amount of money so you know why not I mean it makes sense to me so